Biotin is everywhere, in gummies, pills, even shampoos claiming to give you fuller, longer hair. But does it actually work or are we all just buying expensive hope in a bottle? Let's break it down with real science and real answers. Today we are talking about what biotin actually does in the body, who might actually benefit from it and whether supplements and shampoos are worth your money. Let's get into it. Biotin, also known as vitamin B7, is water-soluble B vitamin that helps your body turn food into energy. But more importantly for hair, it plays a key role in producing keratin, the protein that makes up hair, uh, skin and nails. That's why deficiency can lead to thinning hair, brittle nails and dry skin. But here's what most people don't know. Biotin deficiency is actually pretty rare. Biotin is marketed like the holy grail for hair. But what does science actually say? A 2024 literature review looked at biotin as a hair growth supplement. Out of three high-quality studies, the best one, a double-blind placebo-controlled trial, found no significant difference in hair growth between people taking biotin and those taking a placebo. The other two studies looked at people with specific conditions and even they didn't show strong evidence. Bottom line, despite all the buzz, there is no solid scientific proof that biotin helps hair grow in healthy people. Let's still take a look at why biotin gets so much attention. Biotin helps with uh, keratin, production of keratin, the protein that your hair is made of. Uh, if you are actually deficient, that factory slows down and hair weakens. But if your level is already normal, adding more trucks uh, doesn't speed up production. Let's talk about those popular biotin shampoos. Here's the thing, biotin isn't easily absorbed through the skin. So no, biotin itself probably isn't doing much when you rub it into your scalp, but those shampoos often contain other ingredients like peptides or amino acids that actually nourish the scalp. So while biotin shampoo won't grow new hair, it can still support overall scalp health. So we discussed that biotin deficiency is pretty rare. It means that you don't always need a supplement. I think you can try these foods first. Egg yolks from pasture-raised hens, uh, liver and other organ meats, nuts and seeds like almonds, walnuts and sunflower seeds, uh, sweet potatoes, spinach and salmon, um, because usually a balanced diet provides enough biotin for healthy hair. When people notice hair thinning or shedding, they often think, maybe I need more biotin. But the truth is, Biotin deficiency is way down the list of common causes. Here is what I see most often in my consultations. First, iron deficiency. Low ferritin levels are a huge reason for hair loss, especially in women. Second, I think it's thyroid imbalances. Both low and high thyroid hormones can trigger hair thinning. Then I think it's chronic stress. Stress throws off hormones and nutrient absorption and it pushes hair into shedding mode. Then uh, postpartum changes, weight loss or illness, this can all trigger telogen effluvium, a temporary but dramatic type of hair loss. And finally, poor protein intake. Your hair is made of protein, so if you're not getting enough protein or you can't absorb it properly, growth slows down. So while biotin has a role, it's rarely the root cause of hair loss in healthy individuals. That's why jumping to biotin first without checking iron, thyroid or stress can waste time and money. Some people may still benefit from biotin. Pregnant or breastfeeding women, people recovering from antibiotic use, vegans or low protein eaters, anyone with confirmed deficiency symptoms. But again, don't assume more is better. Stick to reasonable doses and when in doubt, uh, get tested. Interesting fact uh, that biotin can interfere with lab tests, especially thyroid uh, and hormonal panels. So if you are getting blood work done, uh, always tell your doctor you are taking biotin. Here's the bottom line. Biotin can help if you are genuinely deficient, but extra biotin won't boost hair growth. Biotin shampoos probably don't do much on their own because hair health is multifactorial, so look at your full lifestyle, not just 
just one vitamin. Have you ever tried biotin supplement or shampoo? What was your experience? Let me know in the comments and if this helped, don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-backed health tips. See you in the next one!